happy new year guys welcome to yet another tutorial with so 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 today guys we're going to be looking at how to make this trending caribbean gown with this flowery material cute right yes very very lovely i'm going to be starting with the upper part of of the gown the half length is 19 i'm adding one inches for seam allowance and then the shoulder is 17 17 i divided it by two and then i got 8.5 and i'm going to be marking my 8.5 at the top part of the paper there please don't have any allowance this is going to be an off shoulder an off shoulder cutting so there will be no need for any form of allowance there so i'm just joining the lines the straight lines and um this this full, um, paper is folded into 20 inches so the next thing we are marking is our armhole depth which is nine inches i'm using nine inches for her because she's on a big size mind you this measure this um dress is for a plus size so now i'm going to be joining the lines so i joined the lines now straight down but before joining the lines i'm going to mark the 8.5 there also so i can connect and then i'm going to extend it there like in an l shape you have to extend it there ensure you extend that part and i'm going to use my broken um, french curve to um form a curve there the ammo curve the next thing we start to mark we'll start with the boss the boss is 48 48 divided by two by four sorry Give you 12 inches plus 2 inches that's 14 so i'm marking the 12 inches first and then i'm going to add two inches at the end like that for same allowance some people add one inch so people add one and a half some people add two inches please let it not be less than one inch so i extended the line there the L line and then i'm going to mark the round on the post which is 40 inches 40 divided by 4 is 10 10 plus 2 inches same allowance that's 12 so i'm going to be adding the 2 inches right there and then when i'm done i'll take my straight ruler and connect the two lines where i added the 2 inches that's a new line i like adding my um my allowance on my paper so i don't forget now i'm marking the off shoulder i'm going to be using five inches then i'm going to connect them i marked five inches from up on the two sides and i connected the line so guys what you take at the top determine how revealing you want it to be is not fixed then i'm going to be marking my shoulder to nipple breast point measurement which is 11 inches going to be marking it there because i want to take my dart so i'm going to mark it in several places so that i can easily connect it together like this let us say like so <laughs> so i'm connecting the lines just like that so what we're going to be doing next now is to mark our nipple to nipple which is our bust pan which is also our dart i'm going to be using her nipple to nipple is nine plus half inch so in allowance that's 10 divided by two that's five so I'm marking five at both sides guys no vex at this point i realized that my camera was not recording so i had to go back i can i couldn't cancel because i used pen so now what i did i just connected those lines i connected the five we marked to meet the other line that we marked as 11 straight so that then i'm going to take our um that we're going to mark our that so at that edge there i'm going to take half inch at the two sides sorry it's not showing i didn't realize that it was not showing on the screen and i'm going to come down from that breast point by two please i came down by two i'm so so sorry you can't see it okay i've shifted it so i came down by two and i marked it so i'm going to be connecting all to that point where that line those line meet the the breast points and the um 
um, nipple to nipple line where it meets there i'm also going to connect the other um where's that to that line like so just watch what i'm doing So this is basically the measurement for the front. Well, but we're going to be doing one alteration as after cutting it out. So next I'm going to cut out what we have already done neatly. So while you cut, just try your best to make sure when you get to that end, you don't cut it off. I think I mistakenly reached that place and cut it off. Even if you cut it off, no problem, but you can try not to cut it off. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to get my pins. I come from my solo tape, so I'm going to be making use of my pins. So I'm transferring the darts, the dart, the boss dart, I'm transferring it to the um to the waist dart, just like that. So I'm folding, I'm pinning it down, covering the two inches that will carry it like that then i'm using my pin to pin it down so if you notice the the waist that has become wider and even the half length the curve has changed so i just transferred it that just like that thank you for coming this far i don't take it for granted if you know you've not subscribed yet please subscribe and love you you remember the measurement that we took was the full shoulder so i'm going to be taking two inches from the shoulder measurement because this is an off shoulder and i don't want it looking funny on my client i'm also going to take my broken french curve and then connect my new armhole line just like that you can come in two inches you can come in one and a half inch but i came in two inches and it was perfect so whatever thing works for you At this point, so it, I'm trying to cover that opening over there and I'm going to still use my pin to do it. So I'm going to find a place where there's excess paper, pick up my pins and then pin it down. Now I get my curved ruler and then I smooth in the edges there. I curve the edges because now it's giving a curve line. It's no longer giving a straight line. So I've blended it there nicely. Then I cut it off the excesses. Next thing, I label the front and then. breast point and then the half length hope you understand from the from the beginning down to this piece if you do not understand feel free to ask questions in the comment section and all your questions will be answered guys we're done with the front bodies and now we're going to be marking the back bodies I'm going to start by marking the zipper allowance always mark the zipper allowance so you don't get confused i'm using two inches you can use two inches you can use one and a half inch so so in me when i was done i connected the places i marked with the straight ruler and straight line like this deck up next i'm going to be marking the half length the half length for the back is 17 inches plus one inch seam allowance note that the back half length is always um, shorter due to the present because of the presence of the bust in front so most times around two inches difference but most times try and measure it so you get it accurately so i'm going to mark the 18 inches across the paper so that i can connect with a straight line and have a very straight beautiful line i'm still going to mark the shoulder the shoulder um measurement is eight and a half remember we use 17 17 divided by two is eight and a half and i'm marking nine as i'm whole depth Practically, I'm still going to mark my 8.5 down so that I can connect it on a straight line. Because whatever measurement you're doing, should not, it should not exceed this balance. In fact, that's the power allowance side. Do not touch it. That place is a no-go area. 
so i'm going to connect it like that so it's forming an l shape just as we did the front and after then we're going to go ahead to mark the um the depth off shoulder depth remember we used five inches i'm still going to mark the same five inches i'll mark, mark it across so that i can use my ruler straight ruler to connect it just like that just follow what i'm doing and um if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section and if you know you have not subscribed please subscribe and thank you so guys i'm coming in at that point with two inches just as we did the front and um I'm going to mark it like that and then I'll connect it with my French curve. Then we are going to mark the bust again, trying to connect the line to tell you it's to make you know where it's going to be stopping. So our bust, remember, was 48 divided by 2, that's 12, then plus 2 inches. I'm marking the two down there. Then around the around on the bust is um 40, 40 divided by 4 is um 10 10 plus 2 then we're going to connect it with our ruler just as we did in the front we're going to mark it out that i'm going to be using four and a half inch for the back that I'm going to mark it across and then I'm going to use the ruler to connect it. So I'm going to be taking half inch at both sides for the dart. Then I'm going to use my ruler to connect it to the point up there just like that so this is what we got after um, this is the point and this one we marked out that So I'm going to come up by one and a half from that zip allowance because the back is not straight and this is to avoid the bulging, bulging of the zip. I just call it pregnancy of the zip. So these are to avoid bulging of the zip. So I'm going to use my my um curved my curved ruler to blend it in just like that. So I'm marking the parts that we need to cut out so you don't get confused. Now this other part is also important. The, the zipper allowance is not straight because our back is not straight. I'm marking one inch out and I'm marking one inch in and I marked one inch at the other end and I'm connecting it now because our zip allowance is slanted, it's, it's in a curved form. So you're going to take your curved ruler just as I'm doing now to curve it into that new one inch that I went inside like that from the top of it down to that one inch because our back is if you notice the shape of your back is not straight all this is to just make it sit nicely at the back when you're done and not having any funny shape sometimes when you make dress line you see that the, the zipper allowance is the zip is bulging and the back is not balanced it's because of the way you cut the back so I'm going to also blend the, what, the one inch I came in with into the line so if you notice those, those are two two inches and i'm marking them out for you to see the new one that's our zipper allowance our new zipper allowance so notice i curved it in and i used that ruler to state the curve so you see the, the new shape that the back is taking so i'm going to trim out the excess it's one inch remember this one inch i went back to the allowance at the right side and i added it back please don't just trim out one inch and don't add the allowance make sure you add back the allowance that you're taking and then i'm going to be trimming out i'm going to be cutting out the rest after cutting out the back next thing i'm going to be doing is to open one side of the, the dart 
because I'm not going to be fixing that on the back part of the um, of the dress. I'm going to be putting an I'm going to put an invisible dart. What I mean by invisible dart, I'm taking a dart now, just like this now, on the on the pattern paper. So I'm going to cover it like that. So I've transferred it, I've covered the dart, so there's no need to put that on the dress anymore. I'm going to use my pin to pin it down just like that. So up next I went and I transferred this pattern on fabric just like this. Pinned it down so that it'll be easy for you to identify the material is flexible. So I cut it down like that for the front, that's the front and then this is the back. So take notes, let all the notching be there, like I notched this, the zip allowance, just like that, I notched it at the back. And then the front that, if you notice, I notched that place where the zip, the dart is starting and where the other dart is starting, so that you know where to hold. So guys, it's time to cut the sleeve. I'm not using any, I'm just going to freestyle, I'm using a 29 by a 14 inches um fabric because this fabric is left i didn't want to waste it so it depends on how long how full you want it to be and then i left enough space to fold in because i'm always folding to put elastic because i use 14 inches so there's you can do it as you want as you wish so now i'm going, I'm going, to, I'm going to fold this fabric into two remember this this is a puff sleeve so now we're going to be cutting i'm going to be deepening the um the sleeve so i'm going to come in by four inches i'm going to come in by four inches because we took five out and you remember that the ammo is nine inches so i'm going to come in by four inches and then i'm going to from the other side i also came up came in by four inches and then i connected it just as i did now so i'm going to take my scissors and then i'll cut it out so remember at the top and at the bottom we're going to be adding elastic that side and then this side we're going to be adding an elastic band take note so i think now i'm getting about getting about um we need like six inches so i'm having like extra four inches together so please make it big enough so that you have extra together so now let's do it let's do some mats so our gown length now is um 60. i'm going to be adding two inches to it so i'm going to be using 62 inches because the beauty of this gown is when it is flowing and i want it to flow so we're using 62 inches the main purpose is to know the what we are going to be getting for the down part so i'm going to minus it from the half length that we cut which was we, we took like as a half length so we're going to minus it and we're going to get for the three we're getting for the three so the bottom part of the gown the length of the bottom part after the half length is 43 62 minus 19 will give us 43 so now i'm going to just be drawing the gown so you understand for those people that do not understand what i'm saying this is the half length and now this is the main gown bar so now this we took 19 the whole gown is 62 the full length so now from that half length down to the to the full length of the gown is going to be 43 and i remember that we're doing a caribbean gown so it's going to be having three steps like this so the first step the second step and then the third step so the next thing i'm going to determine how the figures that will be in the first step the second step and the third step that means the amount and the number how long and how how long they're going to be and how wide they're going to be so now I'm going to divide for the three by three. I got 14.3, but I want the um, the first step to be very long. I want it to be 17 inches. So the first step will be 17 inches. So now I'm going to minus 17 inches from 43, and it's going to give me 26, and I'm going to divide that 26 by two because I want the other two other steps to be equal. So if our first step is 17 inch, the second step will be 12 inch and the last step will be 12 inches long. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, please ask question. 
so the first step is 17 the second step is 7 is um, 12 inches and then the third step is 12 inch please do not forget that i've added allowances to all this so please add your allowance don't just use it like that so now i'm writing that the first step is 17 the second step is 13 the fourth step is 13 sorry not not 12 i made a mistake I hope you understand. So now I'm going to call the first step. The first step I would like to use a flay. I'm going to use a flay that is divided into two. I'm not going to um, divide it into four because I don't I don't have enough material. I'm using a five five um, yard material. So now I'm going to the, um, our round on the boss is 40. 40 divided by um, two will give us 20 plus um one inch allowance. That is 21. So 21 if i go around this point up initial point by 13 and a half if i mark 13 and a half around like like so i'm going to be getting that 41 inch like that's so what i first did was cross my round my tape at the neck and find the parts that give me what i'm looking for then i started taking it around like that if you need a tutorial on how to make a peplum, please let me know in the comment section. So remember that we said that the length of this first step will be 17 inches. So the next thing we are going to do is to mark 17 across, round from this from this mark line that we are marking downward to mark 17, round it to get our peplum. So guys, I realized that this video where i did the cutting of the second and the third step is nowhere to be found but once i was done cutting this peplum down at the bottom just like that i took my tape and i measured the bottom part to know the length remember that this fabric is folded into two when i folded it i got 50 inches on the dot so 50 plus 50 that is 100 because it's folded into two so i got a hundred so i'll be using a paper illustration to show you how i cut the second and the third steps so the second step which is the first paper here it's 13 inches wide remember we said the two steps would be 23 inches divided by 2 that's 13 and then it is going to be um 170 inches long remember the length of the peplum we got was 100 and we are going to be gathering it so that is 100 plus the 70 inch i decide to gather it is not any specific inch you can decide to gather an extra 100 according to how your strength carries you and how your material is available or according to um how full you want the dress to be now the third steps the remember the third step is the same length with it's the same um wideness with the with the first step which is 13 inch but the length has to be longer because we are going to gather it under the second steps so i added another 70 inches to 170 which gave me 240 and the length of our third step is 240 inches long i know right it's very very long i would like to show you how i i did my gathers because when the gathers become so long i do not like um i do not like running gather stitches on it because of the probability of it's cutting so i just wanted to show you what i did in case you are like me that feel uncomfortable during running long gather stitches you have to carefully do it like this in form of a gathers mind you not in form of a, of a pleating you have to make it look like a gathers so this is my secret for extremely long gathers so up next i've turned the linings and everything i've turned them and then i've ironed it neatly just like that both the front and the back and up next, what I'm going to do is to go and join the zip allowance. Mind you, before I forget, I've also joined the sleeves. I've folded the sleeves and I left that extra space in the middle to insert rubber. And I added like 
a two and a half inch band which is folded to give me one inch that I would use to add the rubber. So now I have gone to my machine and I've joined everything. I've joined the first layer, the second layer and the third layer of the bottom of this Caribbean gown. Now you're seeing the gypsy effect. Mind you, this three step, this, this effect, like this, they call it the gypsy effect. So you can see it. The second layer is um, 13 inches long. The third layer is 13 inches long like that. So I've also gone to join the zipper allowance just like this. And please iron your work. It makes it neater and more balanced. If you do not have iron to iron, do not sew. Because your work looks more presentable when you iron. So you can get yourself like an iron to manage if you're having issues with light. Even if it's charcoal iron, try and iron your work. So I've also gone ahead to put the elastics, the rubber, in the sleeves just like that. I used a, a, fat, a fat rubber for this one, like a one inch rubber. I, that's why I added that extension there. I wanted to, I felt going to have more strength for her. I went ahead to join the sides and I've also ironed them neatly. So I've marked the sides and then I joined them and that is it. So um, at the middle of that place, I'm going to be running um, a rope at the middle, just like this. So I ran a rope so that she can decide to drag it down as much as she wants or make it go up as much as she wants. It's just for flexibility. So yeah so our gown is finished i've gone ahead to also add the sleeve this is how i made the gown rather the sleeves and yes it turned out very very beautiful on her as we saw in the video guys i'm super excited for having you here please if you have not subscribed please subscribe thank you so much for visiting this channel please turn on your post notification bell to see more videos and more posts from this channel and thank you so much god bless you see our lovely gown see how beautiful it is ah it's giving see you in our next video and god bless you